Hello Scorpio viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, or what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. Let's just see what the cards want to say. Sometimes they just tell whatever story they want to tell. <laughs> so for the Scorpios that are drawn to this video, what is the story? What do you need to know? Pause, reflection, rest, shyness, fear of rejection, love, offer, commitment, fast moving energy, willpower, strength, confidence, clubs, parties, social life, and mutual depth and or mutual feelings and emotion, emotional depth. I think your person is not saying anything to you right now. They're in this state of like pause, reflection, rest, you know, med like a meditative kind of space, just going inward, kind of trying to figure out how you feel, um, just kind of resting and trying to let things flow naturally, trying not to force anything. I think they're trying not to put pressure on you. Like they don't want to say too much because they're afraid that if they come on too strong, you'll reject them. Or you'll push them away or you'll you'll run away and so they just they don't really know what to say to you they just they have this they're shy for one thing possibly but they're also just really afraid of rejection they're afraid of getting hurt they're afraid that if they reach out that you might just ignore them or you might be short with them or you might just push them away you know they're kind of afraid of saying or doing the wrong thing so they're just pausing and trying to just calm. They're trying to just relax, you know, because you are really important to them. They do really love you. And so they're putting a lot of pressure on themselves to do this right because they just they don't want to come in and say the wrong thing and have you run or push them away or reject them or misunderstand what they're saying. They just have this huge fear of being ghosted or being ignored or just not being wanted by you. Maybe this is somebody who's also used to being chased and it's like you're also used to being chased or you want to be chased like you want to be the one like you want to be the one that's pursued and they also want to be the one that's pursued and so it makes things kind of complicated because you're both just kind of mirroring each other with this pause reflection rest type energy where where they're waiting for you to reach out and you're waiting for them to reach out and make a move it just makes things so complicated though because it's like you're both waiting for each other and so no one's making a move and one of you guys needs to move finally someone needs to make a move even if it's just a hey how's your day someone needs to to break and say something i think your person is in a very like kind of vulnerable almost like submissive type energy like a more feminine softer type of energy where they're they could be a little bit old-fashioned where it's like they want you to do the pursuing they your person wants you they want the cute little good morning and good night text. Like they want you to reach out and make an effort and show them that you care. They want you to make the effort. They want you to reach out and they'll reciprocate and they'll give you, they're going to match your energy. You know, if you're giving them that energy, they're going to give you that energy right back. But yeah, it's like your person is just kind of pausing and just waiting and hoping that you'll reach out and just waiting for a message or a phone call from you or waiting for waiting to see what you're going to do next, waiting to see if you're going to make an effort and make a move for them. They're just kind of wanting you to pursue them. They're just kind of in this energy where they're just, yeah, just this pause reflection energy where they just, yeah, they want you to make some effort for them. I think, um, I think if they have to message you first, it's going to be a turn off for them for sure. Like they will eventually get impatient and just get fed up with waiting and they'll probably message you first and say something but there it's going to be a turnoff if they have to do that if they have to get to that point it's not going to 
it's not great, you know? Um, and you know if this is your story or not, like if this is resonating with you. Yeah, they might just get, either you might get impatient or they might get impatient and they might come in with this like love offer, commitment, just really fast moving energy, almost chaotic, like sudden turn of events where they just come in quick with this like love offer. Um, it could be kind of, there might be some impatient energy attached to the love offer too. Like, hey, are we doing this? Or are we not doing this? Like, I, I can't wait my whole life, you know? Like someone's just kind of coming in quick and just laying their cards out on the table and saying, hey, like, I love you. Do you want me or do you not want me? I don't want to keep waiting. I don't want to keep waiting. I don't want to keep being afraid of getting hurt, afraid of getting rejection, afraid of getting rejected. I don't want to keep having to worry about what to say to you and, you know, having to overanalyze everything I say out of fear of pushing you away or fear of you running and ghosting me. Like, I want you to just be here finally, even if it's messy and chaotic. Like, I just want you to be here with me and we'll work through it together. We'll work through all our fears together. Because you're, with the fear, you guys are mirroring each other. Like, you're both equally afraid. You're both terrified of getting hurt and rejected. You both have that fear. This could possibly be somebody that you met at a club or someone you met at a party or some type of social event. For others, for others, I think it's just kind of saying like you're 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 kind of focusing more on your social life. You're focusing on like having fun, like dancing, going out, just having fun, living your life, um, connecting with your friends. You know, having a support system, and that support system and just having fun and just being open to life is giving you. It's giving you like the willpower, that foundation is giving you like the willpower and strength and confidence to come forward with this love offer or it's giving them the confidence to come forward with this love offer. Like it's not easy for them, whoever is doing this, it's not easy, you know, to come to lay their cards on the table like that. It really takes a lot of strength and confidence to, to push past fear like that, but you know, your person thinks that as terrified of, as they are of getting hurt, your person really loves you and sees the potential that's here and they think that you're worth the risk. So they're trying to maybe get some guidance from their friends possibly, like maybe asking their friends about you or asking just like, what should I say to them? What should I do? How do I, how do I go about this? Like, cause I don't want to scare them off or I don't want to I don't want to lose them. I don't want to be ignored. I don't want to be rejected. Like, how do I go about talking to this person? Like, what are, if, maybe if you have mutual friends, they might be asking your mutual friends about you, like what you're like, or they're just asking their own friends for advice on, like, should they wait? Should they say something? Like, do they, do you think they're feeling it? Are they not feeling it? They're just kind of in their head and kind of confused and uncertain about how you feel because they keep waiting for you to make a move and you keep not making a move. So they're just like getting to that point where they're just kind of, they're getting frustrated and they're feeling ghosted and ignored and rejected. And they're just kind of getting frustrated and fed up with having to wait all the time. And I think they're asking their friends for advice and they're, they're, they have this support system basically that's helping them you know, muster up the strength and confidence to, to send this bold message or make this bold love offer quickly. But again, they might be laying a lot of cards out on the table. Like you might, like if you, and you know if this is your story. So again, only you need to go off your own intuition, but if this is your story and it's like, you know, you need to, to, to muster up some strength and courage and send a message and communicate, then you need to do it. Because if this person has to do it, someone has to, someone has to make a move finally. Someone has to make an effort finally. Something's got to break, you know? Something's got to give. I'm channeling a song right now too, so I might be posting, if I remember, I'm going to post the um, link to that song that I'm channeling in the comments below. Uh, something's got to give, yeah. Because it's like they just, again, they want to be pursued, so they're waiting for you to come in. And if you don't come in, eventually they're just going to get, they're going to get turned off. 
for one thing, because they're kind of old fashioned and they like to be pursued. So if they have to pursue you, it's going to be a turnoff for them. Like they'll do it because they love you and they want to keep you around. But it's like they're not going to. It's just not. How do I explain that? (coughs) This is either a man in very feminine energy or it's a woman that's in a very feminine, soft energy and is kind of old fashioned and like likes the man to do the pursuing like she wants like the warrior type like the protector type she wants somebody who's going to be sure of her somebody who's going to know that they want her for sure somebody who's going to you know make these bold moves for her somebody who's going to take a risk for her somebody who's going to be her protector somebody who's going to be vulnerable and empathetic with her and gentle with her and loving but also protective and strong at the same time. Somebody who's going to guard her heart the same way he would guard his own heart. And it's like with this person, it's like... Like they feel like you're just guarding your own heart, but you don't give a shit about their heart. You know what I mean? Like you don't care how much you're hurting them just as long as you don't take a risk of getting hurt. And so they're really getting kind of turned off and upset by that. And they just want some clarity. They want, they have the same fears and insecurities that you have. You guys are mirroring each other's fears. And so they really just want some more certainty. They want to know how you feel. They want to know that you actually really want them. They want to see you start making an effort. They want to see you start messaging them regularly. They want to see you just put yourself out there just a little bit for them. Even if it's something small like, hey, how's your day? Just something to let them know that, you know, that you actually do care and that they actually are on your mind. So um, if this is your story and you're resonating with that and you've been having that intuitive nudge that you need to reach out, I would go ahead and reach out like now, like today, because because again, something's going to break, something's going to give and they will eventually message you first. But but again, like I said, they're going to be turned off if they have to do that. They're gonna. They're not gonna feel quite as safe and vulnerable and open with you if they have to message first. If it's if they're always having to do the pursuing, it's gonna be a turnoff for them, and they'll do the pursuing for a while, and eventually they might just stop pursuing altogether because they get tired of having to always message first. You know, it's like you you have to acknowledge your person's fears and their sensitivities and their heart. They're fragile too. They're damaged too. They've been through hell and back too, and you need to be more mindful of their feelings of, of, you know, it's like you have this person's heart, like they love you, they want a life with you. So you you should take that a little bit more seriously, I think. Um, And it's possible you just didn't know that that you had them like that. Maybe you didn't know you had it like that. But yeah, if this is resonating with you, I would I would reach out. Like, like I said, they might come in with a love offer and commitment and they might, they're getting more and more impatient and more and more tired of having to wait for you. So they might break and they might just come in with a love offer, like really quickly, like a commitment, but it's going to be a lot of raw emotion and passion, but it's going to be a lot of like frustration as well. Like it might be like a, Hey, I love you. I want to see you. I want us to, let's try to, let's, we can take it slow if you want. You know, we can work through all, let's, let's work through our fears together. Let's work through our issues together. And we can go at whatever pace you want to go at, but like, let me know, are we doing this or are we not doing this? Like, it might be a bit of like an ultimatum type energy where it's like, there's love there and they love you and they still want this future with you, but they're kind of like, you need to make up your mind. Are you going to, are we going to do this or not? You know, they're not going to wait forever. If you're not talking to them and you're not asking them to wait and you're not giving them any reason to think that they're on your mind at all, like, you know what I mean? Like, they they just need some clarity. They need some, they just, they need what everybody needs. They need some reassurance that you really care and that you actually want them and that you're going to be around. Um, And so, yeah, they might be talking to people about you, might be asking for advice about you, might be asking what you're all about. And they're gathering the confidence to to make this bold move and come forward with this love offer if you don't step up and do something. But again, they shouldn't have to get to that point because it's going to be a turn off for them if they have to meet, rest, message you first. There is true love here, you know, mutual feelings, emotional depth. 
this this is a real connection this is something solid let's see what else i can get from the cards let's see what else do we need to know about the situation Shyness, fear of rejection again, <laughs> submissive, weak-willed, uh, we have listening and understanding, new perspective, so true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So if you just try to let go of fear and you just get into this universal flow, like your guides and their guides are going to lead you together. They're going to, it's just going to fall into place naturally if you just start letting go of fear and making an effort. Um, anger, miscommunication, reconciliation, sadness, loyalty. Okay. Yeah, I think their fear of rejection, they're just kind of submissive to their fear of rejection right now. They don't want to keep reaching out and being ignored or being ghosted or getting hurt. So they're just going to keep waiting for you to reach out. I do see them coming into like a new perspective where it's like they're kind of just trying to let this flow naturally like they're just trying to they don't want to keep worrying about what you're like what to say what to do they don't want to keep overthinking it they don't want to keep one having to wonder sit around and wonder what you feel and if you're ever going to come around you know they're kind of tired of having to wonder if you're going to actually love them and be there for them or not so they're trying to just get into this flow and just let things happen naturally. They're trying to get into this new perspective and find a good balance. They are definitely really missing you and they really are reaching that. They really are wishing that you would just say something, even if it's just, hi, how was your day? They just, they want communication. I think in the past, maybe this is why you don't reach out. I think in the past they've tried to show you their, their sadness. Here we go sadness see this girl crying on a bed crying someone's crying over you or someone has cried over you in the past you know see her she's crying on this bed i think in the past maybe this is why see we have anger and miscommunication here so maybe this is why you don't reach out to them i think in the past they've tried to express their pain to you or they've tried to express that they're hurt and that they're upset and that they just want you around it's just their their pain is just it's rooted in love it's just like they just want you here they just they want to be close to you they want to cuddle with you they want to hold hands with you they want to talk to you they want to know all about you they want you in in their life you know good and bad flaws and all they just want you around finally and i think in the past maybe they've tried to communicate with you and set boundaries or maybe even give ultimatums and it's been rooted in like love and pain like they've been trying to express pain they've been trying to say hey like you're hurting me please stop hurting me please like just be here with me just figure this out with me let's just get through our fears together let's support each other let's figure everything out together like i just miss you a lot i just want you around i want you in my life i want you here but i think that maybe they were so frustrated that they chose the wrong words and so they came off as angry or they came off as cold or guarded or detached and that wasn't the case at all it was actually they were just trying to express their pain it wasn't they were never angry they were just frustrated and they were sad and hurt and they were just full of love for you and they just wanted you to be around and they were just trying to express how much they want you around but they maybe worded it the wrong way and it, it made it seem like they were angry when they actually weren't so there was some miscommunication there in the past where you miss you mistook their sadness for anger um and so we do have reconciliation here you know they are wanting to reconcile I think help maybe that will help you realizing that they've never been angry and like I think that maybe realizing that they've 
they're actually in more pain than you realize maybe that will help with a reconciliation like kind of finally having these i think you're going to start having these epiphanies and realizing you know you're that you've been hurting your your true love you've been hurting somebody who really loves you and just wants to be a supportive figure in your life um and so we do have loyalty like being loyal this is a very stable relationship this is a very loyal relationship it seems like maybe if you've been cheated on in the past this person just doesn't cheat on people or like it could be loyalty with um like telling your secrets or like like i don't know i feel like some kind of betrayal in your past like it could be cheating it could be people telling your secrets people letting you down people not being there for you people um exploiting your secrets exploiting your vulnerability and it's like saying you know this person is actually very loyal they're gonna keep your secrets they're gonna be loyal to you they're gonna they're gonna they're going to stay loyal to you. This is going to be a stable relationship where they're, you're going to be a power couple, where you guys are going to work through things together. You're going to support each other. You're going to make promises to each other and you're going to keep those promises. You guys are, are soulmates and so you're going to be matching each other's energy a lot. So it's like you're going to you're both going to be keeping your promises together. You're both going to be committed and stable with each other. You're both going to be I mean, st stable in the sense you guys might both have mental illness or something like that. I don't mean stable as in like you don't have any of that. You might have that, but stable in the sense that like the relationship will be stable, like no matter how dark things get, no matter how rough things are, you guys will be each other's support system. Um, and you're both going to be very loyal to each other. Like you're going to put each other first a lot. So it's a very beautiful relationship if you guys can just get past this fear. And again, you do need to make a move. Like you need to, if this is your story, you need to do something. Someone needs to do something. Someone needs to make a move because otherwise this, this, the crying, the pain is going to get worse for one or both of you, you know? So somebody needs to make some effort here. I'll just tell you what song I channeled just in case it was, uh, just in case I forget to comment it below. It was Unthinkable by Alicia Keys. I'm getting that song in my head. Like, somebody's gonna, gonna make a move tonight. Who is it gonna be? Time is only wasting. Why wait for eventually? If we're gonna do something about it, we should do it right now. As you give me a feeling that I've never felt before. And I deserve it. I know I deserve it. Um... Yeah, that's that's the energy I'm getting. I think your person is, yeah, they're old-fashioned. They want to be pursued. They don't want to do the pursuing. It's a turn-off if they have to do the pursuing. They want you to come to them. They want you to make an effort for them, and they'll match your effort. Like, they're going to match your energy. You say, hi, how's your day? They're going to say, hi, how's your day? You say, I love you, I miss you. They're going to say, I love you, I miss you back. And they're going to they're gonna be more open. The more open you are, the more open they're going to be. The more closed off you are, the mo more closed off they're going to be. And eventually they're just going to be fed up with it, you know? Um, so, yeah, definitely don't let an opportunity like this go because this is true love. This is like a once-in-a-lifetime kind of love. You're not going to get an opportunity like this again. What does your person want to say? I just made these two decks. The one I just used, the Black Rose Oracle, and then this one for the love of the moon. Got a little kitty on it. Um, if I don't have my shop up yet, but if you're interested in purchasing purchasing either of these decks, you can email me. My contact info is below. Also, if you want me to look more into your situation, uh, see what your story is, I do private readings, so just email me at the... Um, email address below and if this is resonating with you go ahead and subscribe to me uh share my videos out you know the publicity definitely helps me i want to be open honest and vulnerable i want to tell you my secrets so yeah it's like this person is like longing to be open with you to be vulnerable with you to just fall asleep in your arms to to cuddle with you to hold hands to to be able to just be in their feminine energy and just be soft and open and loving and vulnerable and em empathetic and just relax and just have you kind of be like their like they feel safe with you they see you as like their like their protector like their warrior their their you know it's like that kind of energy where they they want you to to they really want you to be more assertive. They, they really are longing for you to be more assertive and take charge when it comes to this connection. They really want you to finally reach out to them. 
they want to be able to they want to be able to be in this feminine soft energy where they're just open honest and vulnerable where they can just tell you anything and just know that they're safe know that their secrets are safe know that they can just fall asleep in your arms and just be protected and be loved you know they really want to tell you their secrets and be open with you but you've got to give them that reassurance and you've got to give them that certainty and you've got to let them know that you care even if you're scared you know you got to let them know that they are on your mind a little bit you know even if it's even if you take it slow even if you just say hey how's your day you just you got to say something you got to take that first step finally and they they want it they're they're trying to figure out now if you really are their safe space like can you be their safe space can they really be safe and open with you or are you just going to hurt them again you're so empath empathetic kind and thoughtful it's inspiring me to open up to you so yeah your person sees you as an empath too i think you're both empaths they see you as just like a very kind-hearted just very loving person and it makes them feel very safe with you I'm going to reach out. I'm just searching for the right words to say. So yeah, again, they're really in their head trying to figure out what to say to you, but they shouldn't have to be. I mean, if this is your story, it's like you you got to reach out first. You really should. They want to cuddle with you. Yeah, like I was saying, they're really longing to just be in your arms and just fall asleep next to you. They're really afraid of getting hurt, but they're willing to take a leap of faith for you. They do feel that you're worth it. My feelings for you are a lot stronger than I let on. I've been fantasizing about you sexually, so maybe mutual sexual thoughts, like they are thinking about you and, and yeah. <laughs> I've been spying on you, I observe and notice every little thing about you, and I read your social media posts. So they might not be liking or commenting on anything, but they are kind of seeing what you're doing, seeing what's going on, you know, they want as much contact with you as possible. I'm returning, I want to be with you now. And I'm afraid that you've moved on by now. So yeah, they're kind of feeling invisible to you right now. They're kind of afraid that you're just living your life and just moving on and that they're not they're not sure how you feel. They're not sure if, if you're if they're even on your mind or, or not, you know? So give them some clarity, give them some reassurance, ask them how their day is going, just say something to them. Just get the ball rolling, get get some communication opening up in this connection finally. Um yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, subscribe to me if this resonates.